Hello. I just wanted to go over what I do to modify the Hades game files in order to practice certain things. So we're just going to go to get started here. We're going to go to the COG in Steam on Hades, Manage, and Browse Local Files. Then Content and Scripts. And the three files that we're going to be working with here are encounter data, enemy data, and enemy sets. So let's go ahead and open up enemy sets. And before we edit anything, I just want to clarify that the elite traits are not exactly word for word. So I'll just start with from uh, the list on the right down. Blink is shifter. Heavy Armor is Bruiser, Extra Damage is Slugger, Death Spread Hit Shields is Savior, Frenzy is Speeder, Vacuuming is Pooler, Beams is Linker, Disguise is Cloner, Molten is Burner, Multi Egg is Popper, and Homing is Seeker. So, since I have that clarified, I already have an enemy that I want to create here, pre-picked out, and what that is going to be is a Seeker Cloner Wretch Caster, one of the most annoying little shits in the game. So, in order to make this the only enemy I play against, first, let's go ahead and remove all these traits there. And since Disguise is Cloner, that's one of the ones we want, we'll keep that. Since Homing is Seeker, we'll keep that. And we're going to go ahead and remove every single thing from the Run Ban options. And then after this, we're going to scroll down all the way to Enemies Biome 1 Hard. And since I would like it to be the Wretchcaster Elite, we're going to get rid of all of these except for Light Ranged Elite. And you can have multiple if you would like more than one. Additionally, you can do it in other biomes. So after watching this video to the end, all you'd have to do is just apply what you've learned in this video to the other biomes. Anyway, let's go ahead and save that because we're done in this file here. And I'll go ahead and exit out of that. And let's go to enemy data. So we're going to go down just a little bit here until you see elite. And right here, we're going to do the exact same thing we just did, but just with more text and more deleting. So get rid of that. We'll leave deep inheritance. There's homing, there's extra damage and vacuuming, we'll get rid of that. There's disguise, we'll keep that. Death spread, beams, get rid of those. And that's it for that, we'll go ahead and save that file there. Now lastly, we're gonna go to encounter data. And we're gonna scroll down a bit here, past this ending story Persephone until we see generated. And what we're going to do first is go to base difficulty. And we're going to edit that. And I think 100, 100 is a fairly difficult point for you to put the base difficulty at. You might, if you're not experienced, you might want, uh, I would say like 75. If, you, if you're new, if you're really new, and you're, you're just super early practicing all this stuff, then you probably want 50. 100 is definitely really difficult, but we'll, we'll just put it on 100 to not dwell on it. And now we're gonna go down here to Generated Tartarus. And right here where we get the hard encounter override values, we're gonna copy this right here and we're gonna paste it in this enemy set for generated Tartarus. We're gonna go back up to generated and under enemy set in this one, 
we're going to paste the exact same thing. And then we're going to go ahead and save. And we're going to load up the game, because that's it. All right, so let's go ahead. Now time to witness this absolutely horrifying display. You found me, Artemis. My sense is short. I'm just going to load up uh, a bit extra health, so, you know. Well, here it is. Here is the chamber I so desperately wanted. Isn't it great? Anyway, that pretty much covers everything I wanted to go over. Obviously, this did not go over every single sort of enemy and scenario and biome that you can possibly use, because that would be a ridiculously long video. That's, and that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to give you a basis for which to form and make your own modifications. And I hope this helps you do so.